you got hurt in this game last year too, right? You're, you're, yeah. You wasn't it for the year, but remind me what happened. It was at the end of the game, right? Where, in it was in the third quarter. Um, I actually tore my meniscus uh, in practice the week before on a Tuesday. and um, Just during the game, it, it was a little tear, and then during the game I hurt it again, and I just – Fell a pop again, and it just I couldn't go anymore. So it, it was thankfully it was just something that could trim off, and I came right back. Do you remember that game? Uh, that game. I mean, was there a room uh, underneath Neyland Stadium where you and Keith and Justin and all you guys ended up together sitting around and going, "Hey, you believe this?" <laughs> yeah, I never got back to the locker room, but I know. Uh, yeah, Justin was back there, and I think Colin Barber was back there. He got he got a concussion, a concussion. that That's game. Right, yeah, Keith was back there, so it was just yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a good game for us for sure. Did you think that it was worse? I remember your parents came down and were hanging with yeah. you. And... No, I, I knew it wasn't ACL because um, I, I know that feeling. and that, that's, that's something you don't forget. And I knew I had heard earlier that we could practice, so I knew it was just meniscus. It was just a matter of if it was going to be a season-ending meniscus injury or just a two-week, three-week thing, which it was, thankfully was only two or three weeks. Michael, what do you think with what the freshmen have done on this offense for you? Uh, they've done a great job, uh, obviously, I think. Now 12 true freshmen have played, and that's incredible. I mean, I don't know if we have that kind of numbers since I've been here. and uh, Just a lot of maturity from guys coming right out of, out of high school, uh, just learning fast and playing fast and doing a great job. Why do you think that is? Coach Rick was saying that compared to 10 years ago, you're just seeing not just at Georgia but all over the league. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the, the real reason for that. Maybe just a different level of athlete nowadays than there was in the past, but um, obviously it's just – yeah, just great athletes coming in and can just phenomenal, just you know, athletic bodies and can come and play against 21, 22 year old, two year old people right away. This, uh, there was a lot of questions about this team. Mike Bobo was was, was stating it that well, we got to figure out what our identity is. Yeah. Do you think you guys have established an identity at this point? I mean, even though I know everybody wants to, you know, more deep balls and yeah. all that kind of stuff, but I mean, is this kind of is this who you guys are? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of great running backs. And it's uh, as much as, you know, as a receiver, I like to throw the ball more. Um, if you're winning games, putting up 66 points and uh, putting up a ton of yards on the run game and it's working, you know, why not Why not stick with it? You know, as, as much as that hurts to say as a receiver, you know, if we're winning ball games, that, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. But, um, you know, there's going to come a point where we're going to have to throw it, you know, maybe a little bit more. You know, guys are – our defenses might start, you know, real stacking the box and stop and run, and we're going to have to throw it. So I uh, just got to stay ready for the opportunity. How 